apes start to grow more complex and evolve, you probably want to be able to call them just by their name and not having to type dot slash version because that's kind of annoying. So we sort of did this with when you made the function in your bash profile or bash rc. So we just have it as a function. But putting an entire script into this file isn't really going to scale that well either. So it would be nice if we could have our script just be callable by name. So there's a couple ways to do that. You don't need this vert, you don't need that dot sh on there. So let's copy version and just call it Kame Hame Ha. Kame Hame Ha. So now you can actually run that. And it runs just the same because we have our shebang in there. And then, if you remember, a lot of these programs are here in user bin, user s bin. But most of your homegrown files or scripts, you'll probably want to install them here. So if you move Kamehameha into user local bin, then you can just type it. And there it runs, just like it would any other command. So let's actually move it back and I'll show you one other way that you can do this. It's just as valid, but it's just another way to do it. Let's move that back here. There it is. So this, this method depends on this variable here, so path. So this path, this path variable tells your shell where to find all the commands that are available to you. So here's all the normal spots, user bin, local bin, and then I got all these other ones on here. So if you do, you can modify this variable set it equal to the current path and then put tilde in here and you can still run it because now if you look at your path again it'll look for any programs executable programs in your home folder so no, you probably don't usually want to do that you'd probably want to have like a, a bin folder in your home folder if you were going to do that um, but that's just two methods you can do to actually just have your commands run like a real command and not having to do dot slash script name dot sh so just gives it a little bit more of that professional feel